know, I was just recording myself and I thought the camera was on, but it's it wasn't on. I was trying to reset up my whole setup and I broke, look, I broke. That's how you know I love y'all because I'm still about to record. But I broke, look at my freaking nail, y'all. I broke it, look. Guys, I don't know why, but lately I've just been so dry. Like, I've been dry, I've been dry, I've been dry. Okay, um, but today I wanted to come on here to pretty much do a little makeup tutorial. But today we're gonna be doing a very minimalistic kind of makeup look because, um, I want to show you guys how I do my makeup when I don't want to overdo it I don't want to put on foundation I don't want to have on heavy and a heavy amount of product but I want my skin to look like skin but I want it to look like flawless skin and um, I want to do it under 10 minutes so this is what we're gonna do today okay I want to set a timer on my phone and on the timer I'm gonna put 10 minutes because I want to to show you guys my way of doing my makeup under 10 minutes. I feel like I've done a video like this, but this is gonna be a lot more minimalistic. You know what? Yeah, I was gonna do five minutes in my head just now, and I was like, no, my brows are gonna take me five minutes, so we're not even gonna do that. I know my hair looks crazy right now, but um, I'm gonna put the timer. Ooh, let me try to fix my hair, even though I just said it was fun, right? I'm gonna put a timer right here. You're gonna be able to see the time winding down as I'm doing my makeup because I want it to be like a real, you know what I'm saying? Like I want it to be like a real like pressure type of situation. I need, I need to see how I work under pressure. And I also want to see if I could do this under 10 minutes because I've never actually timed it, but I know like I'll spend like, let's say, let's say in the morning when I go to work, I normally wake up like around like eight. And when I wake up, up 7 38 and when i wake up normally i will get up brush my teeth whatever and then at 8 10 i finish doing all of that and then i'm ready to do like a little bit of makeup sometimes i do sometimes i don't majority of the times i don't wear makeup to work um except for like my eyebrows or some mascara but that's pretty much it like i don't really do too much but if i want to you know get a little bit more you know a little bit more vibrant a little bit more enthusiastic you know what I'm saying, physically, a little bit more just awake, and I want to throw some concealer on and all that stuff, I normally do it in under 10 minutes. All right, y'all, so let's go. The Tarte Maracuja Oil. I have used this on my channel before. Y'all have seen me use this to pretty much kind of moisturize my skin, just get, leaves my skin with like a nice glow. You know what I'm saying? And once I sweep it in my skin like this, I'm applying some pressure with my hands, but I'm also patting it inside of my pores so that my skin soaks up all of that vitamin E from the oil. And I also put some on my lips too. It's the winter time and during the winter, my skin is just really, really, really dry. For my brows, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. This is in these this is a 7B brush and I'm gonna also take their pomade and chocolate and you can see I'm like almost at the bottom of this pan. I like to just take a little bit of this and put it on the lid. If you've seen my brow tutorial, you'll kinda know how I do this part. But I put it in the lid and I wipe off both sides so that all the product is on the tip of the brush. And then I just kind of go in, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you guys can see. See, if I had an autofocus lens, that wouldn't be an issue. I need y'all to see exactly how I do this. But I pretty much just kind of like I like to start with the line at the bottom just so it makes it a little easier. And then 
work my way to the top and then kind of just fill everything out a little. just the hard part for me because I feel like this takes a little while you know what I mean guys this, I'm getting a little scared yes sir and then I'm gonna take some mascara well before I do the mascara damn how much time do I really have left before I do any mascara I'm gonna take my concealer this is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. And I'm just going to take this concealer and kind of go over the areas that I feel like I have spots. So like, it's really mostly this area here and this little area here. And also I am breaking out on my forehead. So I'm going to probably just cover most of those spots and you know, just kind of give my skin a nice flawless look without being too overpowering and being too overcoveraged. Is that a word? Those are all the little spots that I see. I'm going to take my little beauty blender and just kind of go over those spots. Normally, I would even do this with my hands. Sometimes a beauty blender can soak up the product. So you know what? Let's just do it with how I normally do it. I mean, normally, I just do it with my hands. Now I'm going to take the same concealer and I'm just going to like dab a little bit of that concealer underneath my eyes because I like to wake my eyes up as, as well in the morning. Obviously, you know, I just woke up. So you want to make sure you want to make sure that you're you look awake. take my MAC Skin Finish and Dark Deepest. This is a bronzer and I'm going to take this brush. take a smaller brush very similar to that one but just a smaller version and I'm going to let me fix this brow right here I'm going to go in with my nose contour very lightly introduce it to the bottom of the brow from the brow down the bridge and it just creates a nice flow you know my eyes using the same MAC skin finish bronzer and I like to just kind of take this product I really like to just highlight and bronze when I'm going to work or if I have something that I'm going to attend uh, and I don't want to, you know, overdo it with the makeup. I want something that looks very natural, very um, flattering to the face, not overdoing it. Um, I want to look like I tried, but really didn't. I want to look like I didn't try, but really I did. You know what I mean? Kind of like that type of look. Um, so now I'm going to just take some mascara, coat my lashes with this. Look, 
guys, this is the Maybelline Lots of Lashes Mascara. And this mascara has been like my holy grail mascara because of the brush that it has. It's honestly so amazing. I love it. I gotta get a Q-tip to take this off. I'll be right back. My brows look so thin. And I want to say the last thing, the last thing I normally do is apply lip liner and then my lip gloss. I can't find my, the one that I normally use, but I'm just going to use this one. I always use brown. Um. gravitate towards. I'm gonna use this lip gloss. This is like just a regular lip gloss. So guys this is pretty much how I do my makeup when I'm going to work or I have somewhere to go but I don't want to overdo it with the makeup and I just want something quick, something simple that I can do under 10 minutes to look like somebody in the morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I don't know if you guys learned any new tips and tricks, but if you did, like this video and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. And I will see you guys again in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.